Gareth, can I ask you a question? Um, how highly does this rank in terms of your sort of moments with the Chiefs? Uh, it's right up there. You know, um, when the boys got that final penalty at the scrum there at the end, you know, it was just pure euphoria. Um, you know, we've had some really good days at the club, um, and this one, you know, is going to rank right up there. Um, obviously, delighted with the result and the performance as well. There's obviously a few mistakes in there, but the conditions are always going to be tough, and we're delighted, obviously, to come through it. Are you going to have to rock your game match for seconds? Oh, of course, you know, it's a, it's a final, you know, but we will give ourselves a, a chance. Um, you know, we've had a good season so far, but. We talked about trying to get ourselves into that, you know, once we got that home semi, um, it was a big big thing for us and, um, you know, like, like Rob just said, we'll, we'll enjoy it for the next couple of hours and then when we, sh we show up on Monday, we're preparing for, you know, ultimately what could be the biggest game of the club's uh, history. My abiding memory of that Bristol playoff game is you just looking over the moon with that victory. Um, that was a big pressure game there and that was a big pressure game today. How do the two compare? If I'm being honest, whenever that Bristol game was on, I didn't think too much about it. Um, if I had, maybe it might have felt a wee bit different at the time. I might have, you know, that night there was no doubt we were going to win the game. Um, that was my feeling towards it. Today there was doubt. Um, definitely whenever we went in at half time, because um, the conditions were tough and we knew that the, they were going to come out at us in the second half. And six points maybe wasn't a lot, an awful, awful big lead, but. Um, that try we got in the second half, you know, really gave the guys something to, to claw on to and um, yeah, obviously it was, it was a big moment in the game and uh, we, we managed to hold on quite well at the end. And confidence wise, you seem, not just yourself, but the whole squad seem to be growing and growing as the season has gone on. And what does a victory like this in a pressure game like this against the side like that do for this side's confidence and the, and the well-being and, the, and the, you know, the general morale in that changing? Oh, it's huge, isn't it? I think right across the board, you know, we've done really well this season with the A-League obviously winning that and, you know, the guys you're training and the guys you don't, you don't see on the pitch, um, they're training unbelievably well, you know, very easily they could slip into the side and do a, as good a job as the boys are on the, on the track and um, we've been pushing in the right direction right across 40, 45 of us um, and the confidence is high um, we have a good record here at, at Sandy Park and, Thankfully, you know we've held on to that again today, and it's put us in now, put us in the opportunity now to go. And, you know, yes, it'll be a big experience, but we have played at Twickenham before mm. in a bit in the big game six a couple of years ago, so it's not going to be something new to us. And there's obviously going to be guys who've played in finals before as well, so um, yeah, we'll enjoy it for what it is at the minute. But you know, we're want, like Rob says, we want to give ourselves the best possible chance and give our best, you know, ourselves the best showing next week. You mentioned the guys that played in the finals before, the Jeff Parlings, the Salvies, the Shorts of this world that came in this season. How much, looking back on it now, has their experience helped you guys along? Because before that, there was nobody in this squad who'd ever made Twickenham for the Premiership final. Huge. Um, you know, Jeff especially has come in and he's just sort of said, look lads, there's no reason why we can't. And he said that all year and um, you have a guy like that coming in, you know, a winning lion. Um, it's huge for their, you know, Huge for a lot of confidence and a lot of guys who haven't played maybe at the international level, and um, you know he's telling you that he's played with some of the best players in the world, and he's turning around saying, you know, you're right up there. You know, it gives you a real, gives you a real boost, and it, you're pushing it right through the squad, and we're filtering through, and we've got guys who, you know, Harry Williams, for instance, never played mm. in the Premiership this year, um, and he stepped up unbelievably in the absence of a couple of, you know, international players, and he's played, he's been fantastic, and he's just showing what the club's about. You know, come in, come from the championship, buy into the culture of the club, and look what we've achieved now. So um, we've obviously achieved an opportunity to go to to play, and in this, you're, you know, you're technically 80 minutes away from the big one. So um, yeah, we want to just get ourselves ready for a big show next week. Okay. Thanks, guys. Cheers, Carl. Thank you, mate. Brilliant. Cheers, guys.